Those two probes down there are called tumbleweed rovers, and someday they could be the key to finding life on Mars. At the moment, they're just concepts being explored by NASA together with the Planetary Science Institute, but scientists hope that someday they'll become low-budget alternatives to existing probe designs. The tumbleweed rovers would be blown over the rocky terrain and into crevices and valleys that scientists suspect may harbor the best evidence of Martian life. These locations are either too far away from safe landing zones or too tricky to navigate for current NASA rovers to reach. Here's a look at two different versions of the probe under consideration. The one you've been seeing so far, that's the first one. It would use the Martian wind to travel roughly 10 miles an hour and would be steered by internally shifting weights so the rover favors one direction over another and it can even slow itself down. While the probe is globe-shaped, it's the network of sails within the globe that will catch the wind and drive the probe forward. As the probe bounces down the slopes and into these gullies, small mobile sensor platforms will be dropped along the way so they can investigate the upper portions of the gullies while the tumbleweed rover gets to work down below. The second tumbleweed rover design seen here shows a probe that would sit down, transmit data to circling satellites, then reinflate and be on its way. During tests in Greenland and the Antarctic, this inflatable concept of the rover was able to cover hundreds of miles. NASA hopes to deploy the tumbleweed rover, whichever version they end up going with, to places like the Deo Vallis. That's a valley in the eastern Hellas region of Mars that has scientists excited because it shows evidence that liquid has flowed both above and below the surface. While these designs are certainly interesting, we'll have to wait until more advanced miniaturized instrumentation can be built before either of them could be considered a real possibility. In the meantime, we'll just have to continue exploring Mars on wheels. For Discovery News, I'm James Williams.